thinking there, one of the things that people used to say about the dairy woman kept brought the dairy men back home, you see. But the dairy women are bored. And that, that, bit, that bit is shocking. That bit is really is shocking me. Each time I know that my granddaughter would not be, you know, the chance of her staying in dairy and such. I it's grandmother, how does that make you feel? You? Terribly, desperate, desperately sad that here was a place where I'd worked, here was a place where I tried for expansion, here was a place where internally I tried to do things and all of that. And, and yet, as I say, it's just, um, it, what, 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 what makes me feel is that the amount of bureaucracy when we, we are waiting for somebody else from the outside, Rosa, to come That's in right. to expand you. The bureaucracy, they can drown you in bureaucracy. And they did. And, and they, they did. And they do. Mm -hmm. And for, I mean, this would be my one is, is, for goodness sake, can we not just say, okay, we want a world class university here, right? We may not have it in all the subjects to start with. Let us start with one or two and let's get deep roots going, right? But let's at least get these coming and get the international scholars, not necessarily in long term contracts, there's all kinds of variations of things you can go on around there. But if we get a core going here where you're getting, really, as somebody in McGill University said, smart people attract smart people. Now, we've, we've been losing generations of young men, but now we really are losing hundreds of our young women. And dairy women are magnificent. And have been the backbone of this. And I can say that because I'm not from dairy. 